Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Leonard Squad? For all of my friends and family, you guys in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are with your family and you're enjoying it. And if you're not, well, consider me your family and consider this video one hour. Grab your Thanksgiving dinner and have it with me. Um, I, I don't know if it's a lot, but it's, it's you know, what I offer. Uh, so obviously I got a new Christmas tree and it's dank. We I have those because for Shiv and Sam, two little stockings, green and red, of course, Christmas. We made our tree, boys. We made our tree much, much better. Try hard Thursday, huh? Let's start it off with the Anubis game. Let's get it over with. All right. So yeah. Um, oh, I do have to mention this also. Yesterday was incredible. Actually, I want to show you guys if if that's okay. I know a lot of people will probably get mad at this, but I just want to show you guys. It's insane the amount of support you guys have given me, and I mean, look look at this. Just look at this. This is the subscriber gained each day. For Sunday, 400. Monday, 300. Tuesday, 300. And today, 300 already. We're at 95.5. We are less than 5,000 subs away from 100K. And I can't believe it. It's, it's like, it actually makes me almost tear up because I've been wanting. I've been. <laughs> Wow, okay, that made me tear up a lot more than I thought. Um, I've been wanting this for so long. It's been it's been a goal of mine ever since I started. Jesus Christ, you bitch, stop. It's been a goal of mine ever since I started to uh to hit a hundred thousand and we're so close. We're so close, it's so insane. It's so incredible. The amount of support you guys are giving me right now, it's its unbridled to anything I've ever received in my life. It's, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough. This is the best community on YouTube. This is the best community in terms of like looking out for each other on my Twitch channel, on my YouTube channel, even on my Twitter. I don't ever promote my Twitter, but I still have 4,000 followers. Like... It's crazy. You guys you guys blow my mind every single day with the support you're giving me and I can't thank you enough. Seriously, it it, it blows my mind every single time. So thank you so much. Thank you so so much. All right, enough enough uh pansy shit. Pop a health potion. You're half dead. Ouch. There we go. All it took was an auto attack to get him to pop it. Is this a bad matchup or a good matchup? I think it, it could be either either or, honestly. Well, I'm big dumb. Uh, because he has no health pots right now, actually. He keeps tanking minions outside of his tower range, and he's not actually able to do that. But I don't know if this is a good or a bad matchup. Simply because of the fact that, um, hold on, I'm killing him. Because of the fact that if I miss my wrap and then I ult him, he has no jump. Okay. And if I miss my wrap and then I ult him, he just ults me and I die. Like, because it's easier for him to hit his ult on a stable, not moving target than it is for me to hit mine on a, a CC, I mean, squiggly lion. So... You know, that's just how that goes. But we did end up getting first blood anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, my nose, I'm still a little bit sick because I have a seven day antibiotic and I'm recording this only on my second day of the antibiotic. But I feel a lot better. Um, like I can swallow without my ears popping, which is nice. So that's good. But yeah, they, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than thank you. You guys are. You guys are just incredible. And I know it's like, Sam, shut up. Nobody actually cares about you. They just like your content. 
I don't I don't know if that's true, honestly, right now. I think a lot of people legitimately care about me in my in my comment section on my on my YouTube, you know. And it's crazy because I've never felt that way before. Ooh, so close. One tick away. Lucky little lion. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's focus on the game. It is try hard Thursday after all. We're doing pretty well. I mean, we're two levels up. We have a red buff. We have XP and gold over him. Um, does he have beads? He doesn't have beads. Okay, that was just not the best play. The second he jumped on me, I either died right there. Like, I either Aegis and um, immune the damage from his, his jump pillar. Or, sorry, his jump stun into the wall. Or I can do what I did and I can ultimate for the CC immunity uh, so that his jump doesn't do anything to me. And then I can just kind of face tank him because I have Bancrofts and he doesn't have any items yet. So, uh, yeah, I just decided to go for the play that, granted, I think was probably a little bit more risky because his ult does hurt quite a bit. But I like making the risky plays. I like making the, the flashy plays. Well, that was... I like making flashy plays, he says, and then misses a wrap point blank. Alright, same thing for that one. Same thing for that one. Basically, he jumped on me, he knew my ultimate was down, so he was like, you know what? I can get him. Um, so he jumped on me, I immune to the jump because I'm knock-up immune in my one. While I'm channeling it. Uh, and then I think he wanted to wait my one out. And then knock me into the tower with his two. But he used it a little bit too early. So I was able to just kind of kill him. For free. Alright. Four kills, four minutes. This is definitely going to be a fiver, my boys. Definitely going to be a fiver. Uh, that red buff is up. I don't think it matters because he's probably going to surrender in two seconds. 459? Nah, five? No! Oh, man! All right! We got a game on our hands, boys. We got a game on our hands. His blue is up. I'm going to act like I don't really care about him. Which eh, is not really an act because I don't. I can just do this. Uh, I mean, I might as well grab. Okay, I might as well grab these. Can't reach them from over there, can you? Stinky. Shit. All right. Goes and clears the wave. So far, so good, you know. Finish the wave off for me. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. Alright. I used the alt to immune the, the two, but I thought that I could kill him there, but I don't have the damage. That's alright, though. I think I overestimated my damage a little bit because, you know, I assumed I'm level 11, he's level 8, my alt will just insta-kill him. But I had it backed since I was, like, level 7. Or eight or something, so it makes sense to, that my ult didn't kill him. But in my head, I thought it would. It was just stupid. I gotta remember that sitting on three thousand gold is probably pretty bad because if I'm sitting on three thousand gold and he spent all of his gold, he effectively has a gold lead over me. You know, so I just gotta try to remember stupid things like that. All right. Not a big deal. Alt down. I could go for Bull Demon. I don't have my alt, and it will beat my ass because I have no protection. But I also am level 12, and I do a lot of damage because I have pen already. So maybe we can just, like, full combo it. Not even close. Actually, not even close. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, I do have Aegis up, just in case. 
he does some cheeky shenanigans and catches me on a corner. Oh gosh, like that. He has no ult, so he's dead here. Or sorry, he has no beads, so he's dead here. I think he probably he did have his no, because he just ulted me. He didn't have anything. He didn't have his ult or his beads. So Yeah, that was actually just him dying. I guess if he did get the, the pillar stun, it would have done a lot of damage, and I was half health at the time, so. He could have potentially killed me. He did all he did finish his boots. Okay, this this is a mistake. Alright. First game down. Ten minutes in, boys. Let, 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 let's get it. Alright, so I think we click play again. How fast is my Q? One minute. <sighs> Literally four minutes, dude. Literally four minutes. Why do you have to do this to me? Why? Why actually? Well, let's look at my profile. Um... I have 16 pentakills. That's a, what are these? Match of the day. <laughs> We're successfully completing a match. The match of the day. Now, I clearly I do not play clash or match of the day. I do have 7.1 tower kills, 7.1k. I have 1.6 million minion kills. You guys can't see it. Hold on. 1.6 million mini, minion kills. 56 Pyromancers, 4.8k Phoenixes, 56.2k Buff Camps. Seven point nine thousand ranked dual games. If you guys can find literally anybody with more dual games than me, I don't. I mean, I I don't know what I'm gonna tell you, but there, that's a lot of fucking dual. <laughs> It's a lot of duel. 859 ranked conquests. What are these? 569 shutdowns. 32 godlikes. 82 immortals. 241 divines. 759. What is that? Unstoppable. Rampage. Killing sprees. 5.5k first bloods. Hmm. What are these special? Killing an enemy god that you don't have vision of, 671. Killing an enemy god diving your tower or phoenix. Okay. Awarded for killing an enemy god while in the radius of one of their towers without dying to the tower. That's that's a, that's a duel right there, 7.6k. What is this? Awarded for killing the god that last killed you. That's duel. <laughs> that's duel right there. 9.4k. What is this one? Order for killing the Fire Giant or Gold Fury when the enemy team did over 50% of the damage to it. I am good at stealing those big objectives. I don't know why. Apparently, 159 of my Fire Giant kills have been steals. <laughs> 159 of my 170 Fire Giant kills have been steals. Uh, let's see. Siege Juggernaut. Don't play that anymore. Bull Demon King, 2.3k. How many worshippers do I have? Or, uh, diamonds. I have 40. 40 diamonds. God, I play this game a lot. What is this? A little star thing. Oh, we can go to achievements. Dude, peep some achievements. Missing 9 lifetime progress. Normal. 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 50 diamond gods. Normal. And then Odyssey quests, I just don't care about, honestly. What is this? Collected Cage, Kitsune, and Zenko Ratatasker and fused them into the final Ratatasker. Wait. That's for real? You get a you get a skin for final fusion Ratatasker? Which one don't I have? This one. Go to. Good luck! Fuck. 
Garbage. Good luck! Garbage. Well. Do you actually get a, a new skin for that? Oh, you do! Final Fusion. You get this if you get all three of them? I didn't even get to see it! Oh my god, I got absolutely debated. How pathetic. How pathetic. Come on. Ooh, set band. I like it. I don't want to play set today. I do want to play Freya. So hopefully he doesn't ban Freya. Alright, who you got? Who you got? I'll pop, I'll pop, a couple, pop a couple boosties. I don't need to pop XP boosties. I'm already max XP. I already am level 160, so that's useless to me. <laughs> My nose. Lobby chat? Oh. Um, I also have 324,000 favor. And I have every single mastery skin. So... <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's a lot of favor. I have every single diamond mastery skin, I should say. If I get a god to diamond, I always buy their, their uh, diamond skin. Because I feel like that's what you should do. If you've dedicated enough time on a god to get it to diamond, you should buy the diamond skin. Uh, let's see. Who's your next band? I think I'm a band hell. I don't mess with that guy. She's spooky. Anubis. Oh, yo, it's the same guy. It's actually the same guy. Don't ban Freya, though. If you ban Freya, I'm going to have to play Kronos. And trust me. You don't want me to play Kronos. What did she just say to me? Weiss Schnee? Weiss Schnee? Um. I just go Diamond Freya. Kind of cool looking, actually. Oh, boy, 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 boy! Woo, 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 woo! Boo, 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 finger guns! Freya mirror, let's get it. <sighs> Hybrid theory. Oh shit, he's got a lot more Freya time than I than I do. But you know what? Doesn't matter because I got the most amount of rate duel matches in the entire video game. Uh. Sure. I don't really know which one I want more, so I'm just going to get Shell. Because upgraded Shell blocks two auto attacks, and late game that could equal up to a thousand damage. So, could be huge, could be huge. <clears throat> See what you got, Potato Brains. Exact same build. Oh, he activated his two. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, shell it is. Boys, we are in this one. We are, my head is in the game. High school musical level. Get your, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. I just watched high school musical, by the way, for the first time ever, like two days ago. And I'm a 24 year old male. What do you expect to happen here? I still had my shell. I what? Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna get red buff. All good, chief. Appreciate it. All right, so we get the red buff. We can back. We can get our band crofts. I'm probably getting mana pot. I could have bought I probably could have bought a health pot too, but it's alright. I don't really need a health pot. I do have Bancrofts and he won't have Bancrofts finished yet, so that's alright. That's okay. Um so I think we just win the game, right? Like at this point. 
Unless we, we make a huge mistake, but it doesn't seem like he really knows how to fight Freya. He's just good at playing Freya against people who aren't Freya. Which, I mean, is a good skill to have, but in duel, you gotta be able to play against the god that you're good at, or you're not actually good at the god. That's just how duel works. So, because he doesn't have Bancrofts, will this kill him? No, it will not. Oh, I, I'm stupid. I didn't check to see if he had blue on. I assume he did. But... Assumptions make an ass out of both you and me, so... He has alt here, and he has Bancrofts. He could kill me. He could kill me. I'm sitting on almost 900 gold, so I don't want to fight this right now. Plus, he he has his shell back up also. Because we got his shell before minions even spawned, which is pre-10 seconds, which means it's guaranteed up right now. Alright. I'm cool with that. Also, he could have gotten all of those stars on Freya recently and not understand how old Freya works. Whereas all of my worshippers are on old Freya. So, kind of a good option or kind of a good choice that I picked Freya, I think, into this guy. Because, I don't know. Maybe well, It could be also the same thing, whereas he does none of... Okay, well, English... He hasn't played any of the old Freya, or new old Freya, the previous... How do I say this? He hasn't played any of the previous iteration of Freya, and he got all of his worshippers the same way I did playing the 2017 version of Freya. That's what I'm trying to say. Does he not have his, his whoop yet? He does have his boop. Oh, he's doing the right build. He's he's gonna outplay me here. He's going straight into Toxic Blade. That's what I would have done. That's what I should have done. He's giving this to me. Okay. That's weird. I would not if I was in his position, there's no way in hell I would have given him that buff. Or given me the buff, I guess. Uh, your alt scales a lot, 35 per shot, and there's four shots, so I'm definitely going to be getting that. How much is that? 35 times 4? 140? Yeah, an extra 140 damage is huge. Basically adds a fifth shot to your level 1 alt, so I'll take it. He activated his 2, but then did an auto attack. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. Alright. Fair enough. He's going for Toxic Blade right now. That's an amazing play. I actually played this matchup against Rexy and I did what this guy is doing. Um, and it's definitely the right play. Skipping boots all together, going straight into Toxic Blade, straight in, into a Divine Ruin, is the perfect counterplay to a Freya. So the only way that I can counterplay his counterplay is if I kill him right now so I get enough gold to buy a Toxic Blade at the same time he does. That's literally the only chance I have. Yeah. I out-trade him right now because he doesn't have finished Toxic Blade yet, so... There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed to happen. Uh, the whole reason I took that fight, by the way, like I said, ah, oh, nice, we won, hell yeah. The whole reason I took that fight is because he didn't have finished Toxic Blade and I did have my finished pen boots. Because I, I I opt not to go into cooldown boots in Freya Mirrors because I feel like the cooldown's not that important because late game, you're going to have like a Genji's Guard or some sort of something anyways, so it's not really a big deal, right? But, um... I really like going 
10 boots in Framir's, but I think I probably did misplay. I think his build was a lot better than mine, going Bancroft's Toxic Blade straight into a Divine, then into Boots' fourth item. I think that's probably way better. Uh, but because I forced the fight when I had my second finished item and he didn't, I was still able to get that kill, and that kill allows me to pretty much get a Toxic Blade, which allows me to match his build with an extra item pretty much. And at that point, I mean, come on, you you can't beat, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Let me check Twitter. What's going on on Twitter? By the way, I don't know if anyone knows uh, my Twitter account, but this is it. Hello. It's, it's uh, the Sam the Dude, at the Sam the Dude, right there. Olympian or not, whatever. You can follow if you want to, you don't have to. I did tweet out this. This page of my increase in subs. It's insane. Notification. Sam finally getting the recognition that he deserves. Oh, shit, dude. That's so nice. So nice. I, oh. I don't deserve anything more than you do, though. The community is coming together. And I'm just a host. What other notification? Bro, you're killing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer, you oh hold on, hold on. If I don't if I if I mess up saying okay boomer, then I look like a boomer, so. Okay, boomer, you. I'm not a boomer, I'm 24. I'd have to be like 36 to be a boomer or something. I'm nowhere even close to the boomer. Hold on, I have a message on Twitter. Oh shit. Ah oh, damn, that sucks. I can't tell you what it is because it's basically under NDA, but damn it. Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. I gotta text Shiv. I gotta text Shiv that. Hold on. That's so cool. Uh, who's OP that's still open? Poseidon, I guess. Oh my god. I know this is super unprofessional, but I'm sorry. It's the coolest. This is the coolest thing that's happened. That's like, I, I don't know why I'm like fangirling a little bit, but that's cool. Um, okay, so OP Gods, Try Hard Thursday, Jorben Gander's OP, but not in duel. Hera's OP, in duel. I could play Kronos. Should I just go Magical ADCs? Who, who's a magical ADC? Um, Kronos. Freya. Oleron. Kind of Nuwa. Soul. Zeus. TikTok. I don't know. Maybe we'll hit it. Oh, shit. It's not it's not a bad matchup. This is a really good matchup for me. The reason I said oh shit is because I'm bad at the matchup. But <laughs> like this is a great, great matchup for Kronos, but for whatever reason, I'm terrible at playing the matchup the correct way. 
Which basically the correct way to play this matchup if you're Kronos is... Um, no, beads first off. But the, the correct way to play this matchup is to get beads because your early game doesn't matter. His early game is really good. As long as you can just beads out of his level 5 taunt, um, you'll be good. And then other than that, it's all about keeping your distance basically. And poking him down so he can't all in you. But for whatever reason, I love punching them in the face. Um, I love punching him in the face, like, right next to him. Like, just smacking him with the staff. Like, not even seeing the auto. Like, he's the wall. I like just punch him in the face with the staff. Not even, not even hitting the auto attack. Just punching him in the face. You got Warrior's Blessing? No, attackers, but he's going Runic, and Runic is OP, so that sucks. Okay, he's doing the best play possible, which is to annoy me. Can he clear a wave? Okay, I don't know. This is a bad play. This is a bad play by him. And he's running at me. Okay. We can win this game. We can win this game right here. Right here, right here, right here. Yes! Okay, so first blood, all in all, amazing. So now we do this, we do this, we do this. By the way, the when I say this, it's literally just auto attacks. We get the red buff, and we back immediately. We sell our blue pot for the 33 gold you get for selling the pot. We buy this as quick as possible and get our ass out of the fountain. Go straight to my blue buff, because that's where he's going to go. If he's smart, if he's smart, he knows I just went to red and I had to back, so he should go for my blue buff. Okay, he didn't know that, but that's okay. I'm going to go straight for the blue buff. Try to do as much damage as fast as I can so I don't take as much damage from the buff itself. I have my alt now. He's level 4. He's going to use his 3 on the wave. Uh, because that's just how Erling Shen's clear. Or, actually, he'll just let me out clear. That's cool, too. Honestly, that's a better play. I think if, if he used his 3 on the wave, he would have a really hard time... Uh, being alive <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah it's it's a really good play he used to just let me push he got level five i'm level six his level five doesn't scare me there's no reason for me to hit the tower because i do no damage so there's no point in it i'll hit the tower for like 60 which is a little bit of damage but it's not enough to like warrant anything and then i'm gonna go straight back into the lane and just follow him really Try to abuse the fact that... See, this is what I mean. This is why I play the matchup so bad. This is why I play the matchup so bad. I'm going to alt here, so my positioning is back over here. So I am in a great position for another stun combo. Alright, unless I'm garbage. Alright, pretty, pretty good. I did miss the stun, so that was a pretty big misplay on my part, but... Fortunately for me, it didn't matter because of the fact that I'm Kronos and I have a alt that literally gives me my entire HP bar back. And you know what I said about the uh, and the Freya mirror? <sighs> Sorry, my nose. I really apologize. Uh, you know what I said about the Freya mirror going Toxic Blade into Divine, how it's so good in that matchup because he has so much healing? I think Erling Shen also has a shit ton of healing uh, with his ultimate. I think a lot of people underestimate how much healing his ult actually gives. And I don't think I need the movement speed right now, believe it or not. I still get movement speed for my 2, so... Let's just annoy him a little bit. Minions split up, which I hate when it happens, but that's alright. Make sure you get the last hit, because you get extra gold for getting the last hit. I don't know if a lot of people know that. I definitely have not said it in my videos, I don't think, but... You get a lot more extra gold for getting the last hit than you do for just witnessing them die. Yep. Uh, for instance, this is another reason why I'm bad at the matchup. I want to use my one in my HP regen state right now. Because he has the potential to burst a lot of damage and I don't want to get hit with that. He's dead though. Perfect. Should be a 5 minute surrender at this point. I don't think he can come back. I mean, the first two kills, there was a chance. But that third one gives me Toxic Blade, which kind of solidifies my lead even more than it already has been solidified. As well as giving me this red buff and an extra level over him. So 
I got a lot of stuff for that kill. So, like, uh, so first blood, I got everything I just mentioned. I got a level lead, I got the red buff lead, and I got the XP lead. Or, uh, the gold lead. But that second kill was pretty useless because I didn't really gain anything off of it other than the XP and gold I got from killing him. The third kill, though, was super important because I got both my buffs again and furthered my level lead than it already was, so... That third kill is really demoralizing if you're in, in his shoes. Alright, let's, uh... bippity boppity boo Yep, I get the stun. That's the 5 minute surrender. Exactly what I expected to happen. Third kill, super demoralizing. Uh, first kill... First kill is demoralizing, but you can always come back from first blood unless it's a mirror match. Um, in which case you have to outbuild them, which is what that Freya did, which is why I was scared of losing it still. And then the second kill was pretty useless. I didn't really do anything off of it, but third kill was huge. So yeah, let me read this again. Uh, ever need anything? Absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just scrolling through some Twitter. Oh, that's a cool streaming room. I guess I'll show you. My Christmas tree is better than his. But, you know, it's whatever. He's got presents, though. I don't have presents yet. I will soon, but I don't yet. So... So, you know what? His is cooler than mine. You can have it. You can have it. You're cooler than me right now. But, just you fucking wait because it won't last forever. Dude, we're at 95,586 subscribers. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Like, the, the amount of support. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. The best of five today. I did a best of five, or I uploaded it today. Today's Wednesday for me, but it's, you know, Thursday for you guys. Um, the best of five I did with Solar Troll was really fun. After I did the best of five, fun fact, he wanted to do a on her mirror money match, gentleman's rules. Um, so I agreed and I lost $15 to him. So basically I paid him 15 bucks to do the best of five with me, which, you know, it's whatever. I don't mind losing 15 bucks to him because he's a really cool guy and he's uh, he's pretty funny as well, so... It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that recording. And also, I do want to say um, that if you guys are sharing this this day with me, you know, if you're sharing, well, I guess if you're American and you're sharing today with me because you don't have your, your family with you, like you just moved or something and your family can't fly out to see you yet, um, thank you so much for clicking on this video and letting me be a part of your family time, you know, le letting me into your family time. I can't be thankful enough for that. I really, really do want, like, I like making people feel comfortable and helping people. And, um, you know, like every time I go out, I try to buy people's groceries with the person in front of me. I like, hey, do you mind if I pay for your groceries? And, you know, I, I just, that's just the kind of guy I am. It's I'm not trying to say that it's like I'm a good person or anything because I don't think that makes you a good person. But I just I enjoy helping people. Like the other day, um, I went into a movie store just to buy a couple movies, and there was a lady in in front of me buying like two books and two DVDs. I was like, "Hey, do you do you mind if I if I buy those for you?" And she just started crying because she was like. I've had such a hard time recently and I just got laid off from one of my three jobs and mind you she's like 50 you know and she's like I just got laid off from one of my three jobs and 
thank you so much. She gave me a hug and she was crying. And I was like, don't worry about it. I just, you know, I just want to help anytime, any way I can. I, you know, I, I want to help people. I, so I buy groceries. I buy, you know, I went to Starbucks a, a little while ago and I said, every single order you have, I want to pay for it. Um, just because, you know, a lot of people at Starbucks are angry in the morning until they get their coffee. So that little act of kindness could maybe help the world be a, a little bit of a better place. You never know, you know, you never know. So that's, that's what I do. That's how I have fun. And it, it brings a smile to me. And I hope that sharing this Thanksgiving with you, if you are like sitting down eating your personal Thanksgiving meal, with me, uh, I do want to say just thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. More than you probably think I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's name is GM Slayer. Which makes me think that he's going to slay me. Uh, we'll see though. We'll see. I got one of each ability, basically, just because if he dashes in on me and does, like, auto attacks and shit, I want to knock him back with my three. <laughs> See if he starts Devos. He, he is, so I'm going to I'm gonna start Toxic Blade. I think we just out-traded him, even though he used an ability on me. I hit four autos to his zero, so it definitely outtraded him. He does have a lot of healing though, and I have none. Besides my Bancrofts, I guess. But he's got his passive with his one. And he's got three HP pots, so. Alright, just trying to clear the wave. You know how it goes. I'll use my three here just to heal up a little bit. He used a lot of his pots, so I'll take it. He probably, if he hits an auto, it definitely does way more than how much I'm doing to him. So I gotta be careful. I gotta play this really, really well in order to keep my HP pot. Because I gotta keep my one HP pot the same amount of length that he has to keep three HP pots. So... I definitely got to play it a bit more careful than him, for sure. I want to make him lose some gold this time instead of going over to red. Uh, I'll use my one here. Okay. So he's pretty low. He's got HP pots going, ticking down though. You should be dead here. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So basically, I knew that if you alt and then you knock them up, your knockup actually lasts for a lot longer. So that's what I did. I, I ulted and then I knocked him up so that I could keep him in the air so that he couldn't dash away that fast. Um, actually, I'm going to go Toxic Blade because he does have a lot of healing. And he's first item Devos. Um... But so that's, that's exactly what I did. I knocked him up into the air so that he couldn't use his dash. Um, and you can't beads out of a knockup. So even if he did decide to use his beads there, it wouldn't have helped him. Um, and then, yeah, I just kind of followed him. Luckily for me, he took a little bit of bad pathing. I think if he went this way, he probably would have lived, honestly. But it's all right. He's getting minis instead of blue buff. I don't know if he, he, might, he probably already got his blue buff. Let's see. Yeah, he already got his boob up. Okay. Alright. I do a lot of damage to him. I'm feeling pretty good about this game so far. Alright. Just save my one for him.
You should be dead here, assuming I don't miss, which I did not. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So far, pretty perfect. Alright, how much is Toxic Blade? 1650, right? Um, I think I'm gonna just wait for it, honestly. I'm not afraid of his late game because I know my late game is better. So I think sitting here while there's no objectives up on the map doesn't bother me. Because there's no way he does Bull Demon, right? He's too low level and his itemization is not capable of doing Bull Demon. Um, so I could just sit in base with no consequences really. Yeah, I literally didn't even lose a minion. So, we're good. I still have 0% crit chance because this gives no power. But that's alright. When I'm low HP, I have crit chance. Thank you to Bancroft. Definitely won that trade. I absolutely won that trade. Gonna life steal up what I can. He's not showing up. I'm not gonna use mana on this. I just wanna heal. Let my mana tick up. Get ready for a potential fight, you know? With red buff, I do actually have 16% crit chance. Until apparently I use an ability and then I have 0%. <laughs> Which is okay, you know, it happens. Okay. That was really good. That was really good. I caught his dash. I caught his dash by using uh, my 3. So that was really, really strong. I think we get his blue buff as well. That crit was really lucky. Let's go get... I think I'm going to go attack speed, or not attack speed, I'm going to go pen boots here instead of cooldown boots because I don't think I really need that much cooldown in this matchup because I'm just going to go breastplate anyways and breastplate is enough cooldown for me because when I get a 500 pot, you know, that equals 30% cooldown with just breastplate in the, in the pot, so I'm cool with it. This play was pretty stupid by me going here and doing that because I'm missing... Missing some gold and some XP from the tower. Actually, I didn't miss that much gold, but I did miss some XP. One minion worth of XP. I'm leveling my three, by the way, instead of my two, because I think the sustain is going to help me a lot in this matchup. Like, it's it's going to be a sustain battle between his one and his Devil Gloves versus my Bancrofts and my three. And I want to be able to win it, which is why I'm maxing my three. Oh. So he tried to do Bull Demon, couldn't do it because of his itemization, exactly like I told you, and he surrendered. <laughs> okay then. Alrighty. That's funny. I don't know about that whole GM Slayer thing. How long is this queue? If it's under a minute and a half... Oh, it's a minute 50. Should I, should I do it? You know what? I'll do it. I know it's going to make the video extra long, but for you guys, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Why not add a little extra? Why not add a little extra? You know? Put a little sauce on it. Sauce on it, boys. It's hot as fuck in my basement right now. It's uh probably like 81, 82. I'm sweating up a fucking storm down here because... It's incredible. Shiv likes it really hot. Because, I don't know, she just likes warm temperature, I guess. So, uh, I live in a constant state of sweat ball. That's, that's basically my life. <laughs> basically, that's my life, yeah. Just a constant state of sweat ball. How did yesterday's video do? 28.6k right now. Holy shit, the video before that is at 43k? Dude, your Mojo video has a 99% like ratio with 3,085 likes. 
Holy nutsack. That's insane. That's insane. The numbies. The numbies you guys are pulling up. Today, today's video, Wednesday's video, I guess, not today's. The best of five with the with Solar Troll. That's not going to do very well because normally my hour-long videos don't do that well uh, because people can't watch them. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of time, you know, but, but other than that, other than that, I think the video, the watch time is 40% longer than average. The average view duration is 41% longer than average, but the views is 3% lower than average, which it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Ban the Euler. Ban the Scotty. Ban the Pele. Ban the Hebo. Ban the Freya. Could play AMC. He's busted. Okay. Can't play AMC. I played Anubis. You want some Camazots? A little bit of Camazots action. All right, I'm going to build Camazots completely different than I normally do as a test. I don't know if it's going to work, but basically the way I played Camazots most of the time when I had a 90% win record was maxing my two. <coughs> but today I'm going to try doing this and maxing my one and starting pretty much full tank and going straight into like, like basically I want to go. Warrior's Blessing into Glad Shield into like uh, Breastplate of Valor into like Runeforged Hammer or Frostbound or Blackthorn or something. And the plan is to just be an asshole, really. Because you get 40 physical power from your one if you catch it. So that's the play is use the one, hit him, catch it, use the two to do a lot more damage and still be really tanky with a lot of HP. I am actually tankier than him right now. He has 46 protection, actually. I only have 27. But I have 9 more health, bitch. 17 protection does not equal more than 9 health, but that's okay. Alright. Why me, though? You don't win this fight, do you? No, you literally never win this fight, huh? Okay. Well. Definitely odd. <clears throat> Alright. Not bad. First blood. And we got a shell. And we can still fight him. Because I'm pretty tanky. And I have 48 power. Thank you, Red Buff. I jumped him because I knew exactly what he was trying to do. Alright. Second blood down. Catch me outside. How about that? Alright, let's back. We can absolutely just full, full stop by Gladiator Shield. Go straight into Blackthorn, I think. I want to just go Blackthorn here. I'm a thousand gold ahead and almost two levels ahead. I don't know how close he is to level five, but I'm very close to level six, so. Want to clear these, use the two so I get my passive. Pop the mana pot. Shit, I instinctively leveled my two instead of my one. My mistake won't happen again.
делали. Probably just did his buff and then backed after. Alright. 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 Oh god. I took so many tower shots there. Oh shit. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh! Damn. Respect. Respect for staying in there, though. That was sick. That was a close fight. Both used everything, but no deaths. I love fights like that. They're so fun. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. 56 minutes already. How many games have I played in this video? This will be the fifth this is the fifth game this video. Cause I did Anubis, Freya, Kronos. Anubis, Freya, Kronos, Oleron, Kamazots. Yeah, this will be the fifth video. Fifth Well You know what I mean. Yeah, I really like this. Full tank, uh, full tank max the one instead of full damage max the two. It seems so strong. I wish that hit him. Does he have his ult? Guess we won't find out today, will we? I'm very tanky. He should be scared. Nice. Caught him in the back swing. Alright, so just clear this out. With literally just my one, I guess. And then uh, get red buff again. We got Blackthorn in the bag. Just gotta go buy it. And let's start our power boots. So right now, because of our one, if we catch our one, we actually have 112 power compared to his 40. So we have 112 power compared to his 40 power, and we have 85 protection compared to his 73. So we're tankier and have almost triple his, his power. I like this build. I'd like it more if I could hit my abilities, but... I do quite a bit of damage. Yep, pretty perfect. Alright, so I just kind of sat there while he used everything and still died. It seems insane. This, this build seems not fair, realistically. Alright. Let's go sit in this pool. I would like to hit him with my abilities right now. Glad shield, you know. There you go, five games in just under an hour. Um, that's incredible, I don't know what to say. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support recently. The views, the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, you're all honestly so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing Thanksgiving Day with me if you are watching this on that day. If not, thank you so much for even clicking on the video anyways. Um, and I hope to see you guys back very shortly. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.